blessing. Okay, so we are doing a microlox takedown. Okay, so my daughter has her micro twist in. They are gorgy. Okay, but what is happening right now is there's a lot of, not necessarily bunching, but there is a great deal of not just new growth, but I don't know if you can see it, but these, these tangles, that, that's an absolute no-no. And had I known that for the twist locks, we would not have done that. Would not have done that. So I have some water with some oil and I'm just coming through. That's exactly what I'm doing. I am coming through. And so uh, this is, again, she has 300 and she had 360 locks. I combined some. So I believe that I have taken down, uh, I want to say about 20 or 30. And I'm just going gently. I'm taking my time. And I'm getting the twist locks out. Okay, she's had them in a year. And we were inspired by several YouTubers who also got beautiful twist locks, who also have the same funky problems that we're having. But we, we did them at the same time that the YouTuber did. So, so anyhow. It's not working. So the goal is to remove these, install a proper grid, and take out the twist locks for micro locks. Okay? So, but before any of that can happen, these all need to come down. So, that's what. I'm doing and again this is just oil and water which don't mix which is a good thing because I'm just coming down and getting this going now I'm not gonna show the whole takedown that's not necessary all I want to show is that you can do this gently carefully and with love and take your time and so um, again I'm gonna get a proper grid going for her, and we'll probably have instead of 360 locks the next time around uh, we're gonna go for We'll see, we'll measure her head and do the measurements to see how many locks in there per square foot. They're still going to remain fairly small, but the locks are going to be micro locked. Again, not twist locked. There's just too many kinks and bumps and nobody's trying to walk around looking crazy. That's, that's never a goal. So, anyhow, I'm going to take down a few more on camera. And um, I did not add conditioner to her takedown because she's protein sensitive. So, that's not going to be beneficial. What we want is some nice oil and water. And right here, I am 
had a locked area. So, you know, what I do is I just gently release that lock and come down with my fingers. what's happening get it going and I will put again she has twist locks just that didn't didn't work out for the texture of her hair and what she has going on so again just coming through so now that I'm at a lot space clearly this is some interlocking there I'm just gently I'm in no rush Gently coming through. So the mistakes that I made in installing the twist locks is you want to get that twist as tight as possible. Okay, can't get tired and just do a little little twist you want it as tight as possible so that way you don't get these okay loop-de-loops that's unacceptable to me and had I known I would have not done that the reason I didn't do micro locks to start is because we started on 32 to 42 inch hair right so anyhow gonna keep going I will check back in it's not gonna happen all tonight but we're gonna carefully and confidently keep going blessings